Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Well, as we make our way through our holiday week, many people will be celebrating with fireworks. Dr. Stephanie Hansen with Sanford Health joins us this morning with some best practices for your entire family on our 4th of July. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Welcome on back. So wonderful to have you every time. And this time we're talking about some Independence Day safety. Fireworks, we're going to be mm -hmm. hearing them, we're going to be seeing them, but what does this really mean from a safety standpoint? Yeah, well, the 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays. Yeah. Like, I just, I love the weather, I love the excitement, yeah. and there's always so much fun stuff to do. Yes. It's like more than I can even get to. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like to celebrate with fireworks. Yep. And I always like to just remind people, they can be pretty dangerous. Yeah. So you have to be a little bit careful about it. Yeah, let's kind of go through some examples. Yeah, so um, I, I would really recommend if you're gonna use fireworks just as part of your family situation, mm -hmm. they really are meant to be handled by adults. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't trust my child with fireworks. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend letting kids um, you know, handle them or light them or mm -hmm. do anything that way. The risk is just too great. So I would make sure your kids are watching from a safe distance. Okay. Personally, I really like the big like community fireworks shows. Right. I think they're a lot more fun than than doing driveway stuff. And uh, so, you know, if you have a big event like that that you can attend, that's probably your safest option. Okay. Yeah. If you're looking for ways to kind of recreate that fun, but maybe a little bit safer, uh -huh. um, using glow necklaces, glow yeah. sticks, some of those LED lights and lanterns can be really fun. Uh, confetti poppers, kids really like those mm -hmm. things. So, you know, some of the, the the glitz and glam, but maybe not quite the safety risk that actual fireworks can bring. Yeah, with healthy explosives. What about sparklers? I always, you yeah. know, that's always such a debate. They're really hot. Yeah. You know, I, I, everybody loves those cute pictures of their kids waving sparklers yeah. around, but the number of kids we see with burns mm. and eye injuries due to sparklers is really significant. So oh, um, they are really hot. If you're going to use them as part of your celebration, just make sure there's, you know, adult supervision right there with your child. And then make sure to um, stick them in a bucket of water afterwards just to extinguish it and bring the temperature down. Yeah. Because even a sparkler that's done burning is still really hot and can cause burns. Okay, fun fact. I was not a young child. I was probably like 14. You guys, I gave myself a scar on my arm from a sparkler right? because the plastic was still on it. And I started waving it around like there was like a plastic yeah. loop on it. I know, it's like mortifying. A sparkler should yeah. be fine, right? Yeah. Nope. If I see you in person, I'll show you my scar here yeah. on my arm. So they'll get you. They'll get you. I mean, <laughs> accidents happen, right? Yeah. That, that's the thing. They're accidents. Yeah. We don't anticipate them. We, you know, we feel bad when they yeah. happen. So yeah, yeah, yeah. just being mindful, like there are some things you can do to prevent some of those things from happening. So if you do end up getting hurt or yes. injured in any way, I kind of think there's a debate, right? Do we go to the ER? Yeah. Do we go to urgent care? What's kind of our best A, a lot of people route? ask me that question, like, well, what do I do? Yeah. How do I know? Yeah. I would say if you have a, a minor burn or a minor injury, mm -hmm. so, you know, like on the arm, yeah. you know, something like that, yep. a small area, that's very appropriate for urgent care. They're yeah. well equipped to treat minor burns mm -hmm. and minor injuries. If you have burn over a larger area, let's say um, over your entire hand or you know yeah. coming up your arm, mm -hmm. if you have any kind of eye injury, um, if you've had loss of consciousness or just a more significant trauma, ER yeah. and call the ambulance. They can help you right on scene. You know, a lot of people think, well, it'll be faster if I drive there. You want to get those professionals yeah. right to you okay. early on so they can stabilize you and, and get you where you need to be. Okay, so what mm -hmm. is your final thoughts? What's your best advice for parents this 4th of July? Have fun, Yeah. you know, enjoy this season, mm -hmm. but just put on your parenting hat yeah. and, and be a little bit mindful about what some of those risks might be. Yeah, okay, and where do we go for more information? Yeah, go to SanfordHealth.org or you can go to HealthyChildren.org. That's the American Academy of Pediatrics website about all things kids. Perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Dr. Hansen, for joining us. Thank you. Yes, have a safe, wonderful holiday. See you next mm -hmm. time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, plenty more happening here in North Dakota today. Stick around, everybody.